Bonjour. In this video, we are going to see how to write correctly in French using the French accent with your own computer, your own keyboard and Windows 10. Well, to do that, we are going to uh, find the layout of the keyboard we want to use. To, you go here to the Action Center, you click on All Settings and you go to Ease of Access here. Now you can choose keyboard here, you click on it and the on-screen keyboard, put it on. And now we've got our keyboard. Of course, this keyboard is related to the language you've got just here. In my case, it is French. So you can see that this is the French keyboard. The first letter is the letter A. And here it is easy to find the accent on the French keyboard they are all written here a a etc but what can we do with an english keyboard well you must first install it so here for example i've got the english us keyboard it is the standard one but it doesn't work you can see here that we have the grave accent and here the acute accent but when we use it here is the result. For example, I click on the grab accent followed with the letter E. And of course, it's not what we want. So it's not the good result. But it is going to work this time with the US International Keyboard. So how to install it? Well, now let's go again to our settings. Let's go back here, settings. But this time we are going to choose time and language here. You go to region and language and you can see that on my computer I've got three languages installed, French, English and Spanish. You click on English and now on options here. As you can see that the standard keyboard for the English United States is this one, US QWERTY, but it's not the, the keyboard we want. So we are going to add a new keyboard and it is the international one we are going to find in this new list here. As you can see, the United States International QWERTY is here. We click on it. So we've got now two US keyboard. And of course, if we go back to the right button, we are going now to change and get the English. So here we are now with our layout. And what is the difference? Well, now if I click on the grab accent followed with the letter E, I've got the correct French letter, le E accent grave. What if I do it with a cute accent? Exactly the same thing. And it works for any letter. The grab accent followed with the letter A, and you've got le A accent grave. What about the circumflex here? The same thing. Shift, circumflex accent, and for example the letter I and you've got exactly what you want and actually it is the same keyboard but the way the keys uh, work is different so of course after writing in French if you want to go back to your own keyboard you just have to move it here to the US uh, standard keyboard and no problem at all okay so it's really easy now to use it with uh, Windows 10. Let's see how it works with a Mac computer. On a Mac computer is even easier. Here is an example of what we can do if we want to write something. For example, you've got your keyboard and you press the letter E and you keep pressing. And here, as you can see, you've got a submenu displayed with all the accents you want for the letter E. If you want, for example, the E with grab accent, you can go with your mouse and select it. Or, if we do it again, as you can see, there is a number here, the number one. So you can press the number one on your the key one on the keyboard and you've got the same result. And it works for any accent. Here we want the E, for example, with the circumflex accent. It is the key for or just 
click on it with your mouse. The same thing for the letter A in French. Here, again, if you press it, well, you've got the letter A accent grave, A accent aigu, etc., etc. And you can select it easily to write in French. What about the letter I, for example, which is E in French? Well, as you can see, it is exactly the same thing. So, very easy to use it with a Mac keyboard on a Mac computer to write in French. You don't need a new layout, just your own keyboard. Okay?